She is an expert on all things Southern, and today with a beautiful table display, a dip, soup, and dessert, Rebecca Lang is sharing her wisdom in the kitchen. She is the author of Southern Living Around the Southern Table, and she's also an editor at MyRecipes.com. Thank you so much for being oh, here. thank you for having me. So you're already hard at work before I even <laughs> introduced you. Well, I'm so excited because I love pimento cheese. I can eat pimento cheese all day and be happy, happy. Okay, so you're making a dip out of it. I am, and this is, we eat in the South all the time and I call my recipe divine pimento cheese and you'll see I'm starting with a block of sharp cheddar you mm -hmm. want to get the block of cheese you cannot buy pre-grated right and another rule is you cannot buy pimento cheese at the store you have to make you it have home. to make it yourself totally totally is a rule now the thing that makes it a little bit different when I make it is I put some sweet onion in Ooh. I grew up in Vidalia onion country I know y'all have had Vidalia onions up here oh absolutely and so this is a little bit sweet touch to it but it gives it a little bit of tanginess which is really nice and some mayonnaise and you'll see how easy this is in the south we tend to keep pimento cheese in our fridge all the time oh, right. any so given time it, it out came over, comes over it's ready because we have it on crackers we have it on celery all the time pimento cheese sandwiches and really? in the in my new book around the southern table I actually make hush puppy stuff with pimento cheese oh that sounds good it's funny you said you know you can't buy it in the grocery store I don't even know if they have it in the grocery store here well thank goodness because you <laughs> so can't we have do that. to make it ourselves you can't do it and what's so nice is I even do instead of putting it on top of cheeseburgers in the book I have it stuffed inside cheeseburgers <gasps> oh. so you bite in and it just melts out it's there's so an good. idea I love this so you take one recipe and you're kind of weaving it in and out of oh, a yeah. number of I different things I could pimento cheese through anything <laughs> you give me any given thing and I could put pimento cheese in but so we would just mix this together and we have it here on crackers you serve it on vegetables so you're not melting it down anymore you're really just leaving it with that shredded consistency oh yeah yeah totally and some people like to put it in the food processor mm -hmm. but I don't like it too much that way I like to have a little bit of texture okay so with the pimentos you just buy those straight in the store and you can get them you drain them put them in you could also use roasted red peppers if you didn't want to go to the store and buy something separate oh great but the key is grating your own cheese and so then it's really store. fresh it's really fresh and I think it makes it a lot creamier how too. simple is that as well it's so simple and it's something we grow up on you know I swear babies can have pimento cheese in their bottles <laughs> it's so southern and well, I we're gonna pick it right up now and you brought a couple of other great recipes Oh, so the fall. really, really good for the fall. This is a creamy butternut squash soup that's a roasted butternut squash with chicken broth. We have heavy cream in there at the end just to make it really extra good. Pomegranate seeds on top. Beautiful. I love that idea. Wouldn't that be nice for Halloween or Thanksgiving or Christmas? It's mm -hmm. the perfect time of year. Nice little color pop, I too. I think it's so, so pretty. And, and then this. Is, wait, before we show the slice, we need to show the actual <laughs> cake. The size of this cake is monstrous. Is this how we make cakes in the South? We like our cake. What? Yes. <laughs> we eat, eat pimento cheese, and then we have a big, big piece of cake. I don't know what she said. Would you like a slice? I'm like, okay, wait, we gotta cut one a little thinner. If we're gonna. Oh, we, that can be your slice, or maybe that's my slice, and this can be your slice. So, so what's this made this of? This is hummingbird cake. Hummingbird. And I know that sounds kind of different, but this recipe for hummingbird cake was submitted to Southern Living in 1978. We have no idea where the name came from, but it has bananas, pineapple, cinnamon, nutmeg. It's delightful. Ooh. So this is my version of hummingbird cake. It's been the most requested cake recipe of anything from Southern Living ever. And so, so even though it's a huge cake, I think with those flavors, it probably has a lighter feel to it. It does. It's very, very holiday-ish with the cinnamon and nutmeg, mm -hmm. but it still has a little bit of tropical, and that's where we guess they named it hummingbird cake. Right. But the book has over 150 recipes, and it's to bring people back to the table, homemade from scratch, sit down and enjoy those you love, and they're heirloom recipes that will be passed down from generation to generation and what I love is in paging through the book I saw there are recipes that are old recipes and we're talking about getting back into the kitchen and making our own but they're easy it's I, I mean even this one the oh, this is cheese. so easy it's well, a simple recipe children. yes right I've got four it's and you know we don't have a lot of time so I love that the recipes are, are simple like but me. good <laughs> well, yeah, it has to be or else if it's too complicated you're not gonna even start right so I, my purpose is to have everybody come back to the table and have homemade food and sit like we used to before Everybody was on their cell phone. So let's sit down and have that food. So it's approachable, but it is as as wonderfully southern as you can possibly get. And I wanted to bring that through the, the food I ate as a child. This is what it is. Well, thank you for giving us a thank taste you. of that. Rebecca Lang, we appreciate you coming in. Be sure to check out the book and southernliving.com for more ideas like these. If you want today's recipe, if you want a link to find the book, you can log on to our webpage, wgntv.com slash midday. Thank you. Thank you.